Hello, welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. You know Jillian Michaels as a nutrition and fitness expert and coach, but she's also a mom of two children. When she and her partner decided to start a family, they never expected to uncover so much dangerous advice. To set the record straight, Jillian wrote, Yeah, baby, the modern mama's guide to mastering pregnancy, having a healthy baby, and bouncing back better than ever. Welcome. Hi, Doc. I love your work. You have made, you know, America healthy again. Try uh, I'm trying. fit again, and now you're going to make mummies healthy again because they, I think they need to be healthy. Well, you and I were just, just <laughs> talking right. about that. So, so here's your book. Uh, you know, yes. great cover, a lot of good information. How hard was it for you to become a pregnancy expert? Well, you know what? I'm, I'm not a pregnancy expert. What I did through my experience with my partner Heidi's pregnancy right. was uncover things that because of what I do, I intrinsically knew this is right. not right. right. So for example, we were at the number one fertility clinic on the West Coast. Not because my partner's infertile, but because we're a same-sex couple. So I'm right. like, we'll get the baster, shoot the stuff in there, and let's get right. the show on the road. Right. To make a very long story short, there were many things that pinged on my radar, but one of the most significant was when they gave us a multivitamin, prenatal vitamin. Right. I read the ingredients, because I'm me, right? I'm right. nuts. And I see trans fat, partially hydrogenated oil. I see red number 40, artificial color. I see propylene glycol, which is a really dangerous preservative that uh, allows foods, or in this case, supplements to retain their moisture. And I said, what the hell are you doing? Right. What is this? Right. Do you know what this right. does? Right. And that's when I said, this is, and it was a series of other things, right? The number one book in the space says, oh, you know what? You want artificial sweetener? Well, sucralose is fine. It's chlorinated sugar? Sure. But the FDA says it's cool. I'm like, oh, wait. Right. The same FDA that said trans fats were cool for right. 13 years, but we know they're the number one killer of Americans with heart disease and cancer. Yeah. So that's when I said, this is unacceptable. And I went to a team of doctors a pediatrician, an endocrinologist, an OBGYN, a registered dietitian for the meal plan, a pregnancy fitness specialist for the workout plan, and I said, help me, right. help me set the record straight here. I mean, look, what you just said is music to my ears. I want to go over a couple of the things that you yeah. are passionate about. Sure. Uh, the toxins and pollution. Let's talk about some of the toxins. We're seeing rates of childhood cancer going up, rates of autoimmune diseases going up, rates of learning disorders in our kids going up, rates of allergies in our kids going up. Has anybody stopped to say what the hell is going on? And it's not the soft cheese. It's not. It's not the soft cheese. Right. It's not the cup right. of coffee. You know, it's we're looking at all of these toxins in our food, in our water, right, in right. our air, off-gassing from your paint, your carpet, and so on. And yeah, it's a little overwhelming, but... Yeah, you gotta protect yourself and you gotta pay attention yes, to, the, to the exposure. They found I, 200 right. chemicals in an umbilical cord. Right. 200 right. toxic right. pollutants. I it's insane. I totally agree. I mean, I, I totally it's agree. I think that all of these toxins are leading to inflammation. Inflammation is leading to a multitude of problems, including not so much for the ba for the mother, but also for the baby. Yeah. Exercise, big ticket item for yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Exercise is incredible for mommy, incredible yeah. for baby. And we're starting to see in all these studies, that it can influence everything from your child's body mass index, the amount of fat cells they mm -hmm. have, their level of cardiovascular right. conditioning, their level of athleticism. It decreases stress during labor and delivery. I mean, it's it's a miracle. Truly. Now, in your book, you have a, se a, a section that people can use to pick the exercises that a are full a workout full workout. Program. Okay. You know how many questions I get from viewers? What full exercises program. can I do, Dr. Manny? Do I look like I know? She knows. And it's in the book. Yes. Pick it up. All right. The, uh, a couple of more things. Yes, sir. Uh, you have a whole bunch of recipes. Meal plan. Full meal plan that okay. I did with a uh, registered dietitian. That's important because it ties in to weight control, to energy, to yeah. getting your vitamins and nutrients, uh, and to also minimizing the stress level, which is very important. Well, uh, one, what's one of your favorite recipes that you use uh, with your partner here uh, during the pregnancy. Uh, come on, give Gosh, me one. There are several. Well, we talk about how you, of course, know this more than anyone, how omega-3s are really important um, for mommy to help mitigate postpartum. Mm -hmm. But in addition, for baby, for brain development, helps with IQ, supposedly. Right. So we looked for recipes 
and tried to time them as best as possible and say, okay, this is what's going on with your baby and these are the best foods to help support this aspect of their development in your body. And this, these foods will help manage some of the symptoms you're going through, like potassium rich foods to help later in pregnancy when you're feeling bloated and retaining right. water. So maximum nutrition, quick, easy, delicious with um, an award-winning registered dietitian named right. Cheryl Forberg. And you also have a, a good session as the last thing I want you to comment yeah. on, on the uh, afterbirth planning, you know, which is, again, getting rid of the weight, yes. getting your energy back again, yes. protecting your mental health, which is very important for a lot of young parents. You have that in the book, too. Absolutely. And uh, our pediatrician, Dr. Jay Gordon, who is our personal pediatrician now, um, gives some incredible in advice in the book, and it's, you know, sleep sustenance support. Right. And it's very important that we know. One of the things I talk about that I wish I had known more when Heidi had our son is that she was definitely going through some form of postpartum, and I didn't understand it at the yeah, time. A lot of a lot of people miss it. I didn't know. And 15 percent of pregnant women go through yeah. some postpartum. Blues. And he really helped us with that. All right. So here it is, 2016. If you want to have a baby, you got to have the book. That's how it really uh, <laughs> uh, uh, dances with me because it does have modern, practical things that we have to pay attention to. Nutrition, fitness, you name it, it's all in here. Thank you. Where Thanks, can people Doc. get more information? It's available everywhere, but if you, uh, if you want to read a sample of it or see the recipes or the workouts, you can just go to yabbabybook.com and check it out. All right. Well, thank you so much for being Thanks, here. Doc. And if you have any health questions, tweet me at Dr. Manny on Fox. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.